right so it has been a week since my last recording on this game and that video was on adult sasuke you know that being renegade madness when it comes on to the dlc review with him so if you guys haven't watched that video as yet definitely be sure to do so if you want my opinion on adult sasuke and if he's worth getting or not so definitely be sure to check it out i mentioned in my community tab that i was gonna do a noki as a dlc review today but you know his jutsus are very technical and to be honest i didn't got the footage that i really wanted to get when it comes on to his ninjutsu so i'm gonna push his dlc review a little further back you know and i said to myself that you know what since i got haku i got the thumbnail for haku you know i might as well just do the dlc review on him and like his footage is for his ninjutsu were like much easier to get for real so it made my time a lot more easier so i might as well drop the review for haku right now so pretty much how you get uh haku as a dlc character you know how do you download haku as a dlc character is you have to go to the playstation store or you can like come in shinobi striker in the ninjutsu library you know and you see the season pass 2 right here you purchase season pass 2 in which you get all season pass 2 characters and master and ninjutsu training packs for free whenever you like download them from the P psn store so once you purchase season pass all the packs are free so you can be able to download the packs for your csc characters or you can like type in the character's name which should not be striker in the search bar in the psn store and you'll see a separate pack for that character the master ninjutsu training pack in which you can purchase separately from the season pass too so whichever way works for you whichever way is cheaper for you definitely go for it you know but i would highly recommend you guys to get the season pass 2 because the season pass 2 has a lot of good characters in it with a lot of ninjutsu that can be really great for your cc characters so that's just my take on it but whatever you guys want to do go for it you know so yeah but let's dive off into what we get for his dlc real quick so for his dlc you know we get ice style icicle swallow we get we get his outfit as well as well as the crystal ice mirrors you know hidden jutsu a thousand needles of that hidden jutsu crystal ice mirrors you know and we get shinobi boo seals his hairstyle haku outfit first encounter version that was the outfit in which he met naruto in for the first time you know the pink outfit so yeah we get shinobi boo seals we get when we get an honorary title yuki clan and we get haku's hairstyle haku first encounter version so that's all we get for his dlc you know so uh, i'm gonna go in the in real quick and like show off all this stuff real quick what the ninjutsu can do the title and i'll just give my thoughts at the end as well as the series style too so yeah but with that being said let's get it to his outfits first so for the first outfit i'm going to showcase the skills real quick so for the skills you have the top skill power and speeds which boosts your ninjutsu damage does not apply to status ailments damage status ailment damage i should say and the bottom skill out of thin air which shortens escape substitution and clone jutsu cooldown time so that's what the first outfit does and this can be really great when it comes on to battle surreal so i highly advise you guys to like use this outfit and its skills to the best of your ability so yeah that's all the outfit does you know this is how it looks front and back so yeah let's move on to the second outfit so we can see what it does real quick and this is Haku's outfit first encounter version so for the skills of this outfit you know we have the top skill spiteful spirit which lengthens the amount of time that enemies suffer from status ailments and the bottom skill being out of thin air which shortens escape substitution and clone jutsu cooldown time so this can be really great when you use it with like amaterasu you know when it comes on to like uh inferno style flame lightning you know majestic destroyer flame anything that has like burn damage or like anything that has like a poison damage to it you know so this outfit can be really great for that because it lengthens the amount of time you know that enemies suffer from status ailments so they'll take more damage you know as they go along in the game so pretty much this is pretty good on the bottom scale out of thin air you know like you can be able to like escape much more than before you know you can escape much more faster than beforehand so yeah 
so that's all i have to say about this costume really power of speeds for the first outfit it's already self-explanatory it gives you a boost in attack you know so and it comes on to ninjutsu damage so pretty much that can be really good in a lot of scenarios to be honest with you so yeah but with that being said uh let's move on to the ninjutsus real quick all right so for the ninjutsus we have the ice style ice swallow so this bad boy has a power of a one out of five the range is a two out of five the cooldown time is 12 seconds you know and it launches ice needles at the enemy freezing them upon impact decreases charging strength of enemies who are attacking and grants momentary attack evasion during use so pretty much this holds your enemy in place you know and it seems like it lowers defense as well because trust me when i use this bad boy in combination of the majestic destroyer flame and i have like power and speed to that baby you know that shit can be like a one shot that shit can literally kill your enemies or if not take off three quarter of their health bar so pretty much this jutsu is quite deadly when you use it in combination with another powerful ninjutsu attack so this baby you should definitely use for your range types you know this is why i say man definitely be sure to get this dlc i'm gonna give my thoughts at the end but this dlc is definitely worth getting for the ice Coast swallow because trust me this shit can really come in handy and not to mention the fact that when you use it you backflip you backflip so if enemies are like chasing after you like you activate this jutsu you will backflip and all the ice particles will like hit them all the high shards will hit them so you can be able to like do any jutsus and like gain the upper hand so pretty much this jutsu can be can be really advantageous in battle you know <laughs> i'm stammering a lot today my apologies on that but yeah man for the weaknesses of this jutsu really eh, it's not that easily to be interrupted you know like it can't be interrupted that easily you know so yeah but i will highly advise guys to use this when the enemy is like not looking or if the enemy is like finish using all your ninjutsus and all your kunais because i think the kunai can interrupt it as well so yeah so definitely be careful when you're using it you know because once an enemy hits hits like shows a kunai and hits you you know they can be able to get the upper hand on you so definitely be sure to like use it when the enemy least expects it so yeah i'm gonna show you guys some clips of this bad boy real quick so let's get it nice try <laughs> this ninjutsu is like my least favorite out of like the ice go swallow you know the the ice clone jutsu you know and the crystal ice mirror so to be honest with you the hidden jutsu a thousand needles of that it forms a pool of water around the user's feet any enemies within range are entrapped and then pierced with shards of ice also re resets targets ninjutsu cooldown time so this is good if it hits your enemy you know so it can like reset targets ninjutsu cooldown time so that they won't be able to use their ninjutsus for a while you know so say for instance the, the enemy has their ninjutsus all loaded up and ready to like launch it once you like use this jutsu on them it resets their cooldown time so they won't be able to use those load up ninjutsus anymore for a while so this can be really good in battle i'm not gonna lie i use this in combination with the renegon so that i can like switch places with my enemy so that it can hit my enemy so that when they sub and i chase after them with my uh sasuke blade you know i can be able to give them the combo game and pretty much just lay it down on them so this can really come in handy when it comes on to battle surreal and i use something well i use an ultimate that is the tandem paper bomb in combination with this jutsu and it's a one it's literally a one shot it's literally a one shot man i tried this shit you know it just popped up in my head and i said to myself that you know what let me try this shit out and when i did that it's a one shot 
I'll show you guys right now real quick but before I do that the power is a 2 out of 5 the range is a 1 out of 5 and the cooldown time is 15 seconds so that being said let me show you guys a few clips real quick This substitution ninjutsu man it's so good because not only does it chop your enemy and freeze your enemy in place it can even decrease their defense decrease their defense you know and it decrease their charging strength so they can't like chakra dash to long distances you know only short distances so yeah it has a 30 second cooldown time and in the summary it says summons ice crystals with clones inside that the user can trade places with to escape attacks freezing the enemy in the process and decreasing their charging strength so pretty much this substitution jutsu man the crystal ice mirror clone jutsu really good substitution jutsu bro you should definitely use this for your cac range type characters if you haven't already because this shit can really come in handy and you you like bro i can't tell you how many times players catch me in this shit and then like just whoop my ass in survival exercise dog this shit is really insane so i highly encourage you guys to, like use this for your cacs for the ultimate though the ultimate is a banger bro like the power is a 5 out of 5 the duration is a 3 out of 5 and in the summary it says surrounds the target with ice mirrors before launching a series of attacks moving at high speeds between the mirrors and dude when you equip power in speeds to your cacs and then you drop this shit oh my god i don't know if they buff this move i do not know if they buff this move or something but dog the damage out like the damage output on this shit is so good it's so good bro i legitimately like catch someone in it and i like put down your health to like three quarter almost kills almost kills you know at times it will even kill as well so yeah man if you have even a sliver of health loss and then you catch your enemy in this shit you're dead you're literally dead bro i'll show you guys what i mean with a few clips real quick And before I move on to like the title, before I move on to the title, you know, and the hairstyles and my opinions on the DLC on a whole, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed a few clips that I showcased with this move as well. But I forgot to mention that this move, you are invulnerable when you activate it, you know, you are invulnerable. So once you use it, say for instance, someone like uses the night guy or someone uses uh, planetary devastation you know or somebody uses any projectile or melee ultimate and you pop this shit you won't die you know you won't die because you're encased in the mirrors so pretty much you're safe for the most part until like the jutsu is all over with so yeah that's just my two cents on a whole with this on in jutsu you know so yeah let's move on to the title real quick Alright, so we're in the hairstyle section right now. This is Haku's normal hairstyle, you know, from front to back. You know, this is his hairstyle right here. And then we also have his first encounter version hairstyle. You know, I call this the chop hairstyle, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, man, the chop hairstyle, you know. So, 
here we are man looking looking good I'm not gonna front looking good man you know not much to see here aside from I'm just glad for the fact that they add in uh, the series style for real because it really adds more customizations for our CAC characters for them to look more better you know so yeah and more pleasing so let me just end off this video by giving my thoughts real quick Alright, so for the Yuki clan, we have the title right here, the honorary title that we get with the DLC. In the summary it says, a miserable fate is set to await those descending from the Yuki clan who are persecuted and feared for the power of the Keke Genkai they possess. So pretty much this is the honorary title right here that you can like put on your CAC characters to show off your title in in battle for real I should say so yeah let's move on to the hero styles not much to talk about here so let's move on alright so we're at the end of the DLC review man and I'm not gonna cap dog but this DLC has been the most fun I've ever used you know so pretty much I highly encourage you guys to get this DLC because it can be really great for your range type CAC characters and the ninjutsus are really awesome believe you me when I tell you this a lot of people have been using this in survival in quick matches in ninja world league all over you know and people even cheese with these ninjutsus just because of the way how they work you know and how good the moves are when it comes on to like defeating your enemies much more faster so yeah man i highly encourage you guys to get uh haku for his ninjutsus for his outfits you know the extra hairstyles as customizations for your cac characters if you really want that so yeah man i highly encourage you guys to do all that good stuff you know because when i actually like played with these ninjutsus it really worked in my favor and i'm not gonna lie i've gotten a lot of kills with these ninjutsus on a whole so yeah it really really works well for haku as an assassin you know so pretty much man it can really save you when you're in a tough bind also not much to say about this uh dlc it's pretty good it's pretty it's pretty good you know nothing phenomenal nothing spectacular it's decent i'll give this dlc a rating of like a 8 out of 10 at best you know 8 out of 10 at best i don't really find that much problems when it comes on to this dlc for you when you like compare this review to like my last reviews beforehand you know so yeah man that's all i have to say really i hope i didn't lift anything out but uh yeah that's basically it but if you guys do happen to enjoy today's review on haku Definitely drop a like, I'd really appreciate it, or a dislike, whichever suits your preference, and share so that other people can be able to like check out the channel for some awesome Shinobi Striker content or any other anime video games that I do on here on a whole. So, definitely be sure to do that good stuff. And uh, yeah, make sure if you have any suggestions, make sure to suggest that in the comment section below, and I'll give you feedback on your comment. You know, and if you are new to the channel and you come across it, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel today to join the dark society make sure to also turn on your notifications and hit that bell as well to get notified whenever i do any more shinobi striker videos or any other anime related video gaming videos here on the channel so definitely be sure to do that and make sure to hit the bell as well so you will receive all notifications because that's the only way you're gonna get notified so definitely be sure to click all on that bell to receive all notifications because if you don't then youtube will not notify you so definitely be sure to click the bell guys and follow me on twitter link to that is down below in the description as well as soldier Run's twitter account if you're really interested in awesome gfx work at a reasonable price definitely hit him up if you're interested and make sure to subscribe to his youtube channel as well he's almost at 1k subscribers so definitely subscribe to my homie and show him some love you know he does a wide variety of content ranging from anime gaming you know to other genres of video games so definitely hit him up if you're really interested in all that good stuff man you know his content is like highly edited as well so I know for sure you guys will enjoy his videos a lot so definitely check him out on his YouTube channel link to that is down below special thanks to the home in the goy for the intro as well link to all this good stuff is in the description below as well as rifty beats 
video when it comes on to the music that I use in my intro and definitely subscribe to Rifty Beats you know for his awesome remixes on your favorite anime soundtrack so with all that being said guys hope you guys do have a wonderful day thank you all for watching this is Dark Side XL out peace